Hey kids, how's it feel to be down there? Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Far deeper than I thought it is. These are my new choices. So. <laughs> hey everybody, how are you? I am so delighted to give you an update on the pond. We are almost done. So we have a video we're gonna show you what we've done over the last few weeks. If you've been following me on my IG page, you get a sneak peek of the lighting and also the sounds. So we're gonna continue our journey and see where we're at so far. So sit back and relax. Not too hot today. <laughs> nah, not too hot. Juanito, what's up? Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Uh, doing some digging today. Yeah, we're gonna be doing our uh, final hookup of all the, the plumbing for the for the pond. But as you can see, we're so close to the palm that there's quite a bit of roots here, so it'll be a minute. And I know you, in all your experience, found out a go-between or a, kind of like a stop measure for roots to kind of go into the pond now. You're gonna put like a little pipe or something. Well, that's for, uh, for our irrigation. So I'm gonna try to encourage the palm to start growing some of this root system away from the pond. So on the other side of the pond, we're gonna have some perforated pipe and that's going to give us uh, deep root uh, watering uh, to the roots. So that's normally done to encourage roots to grow deep and then in a certain, a certain direction. So what kind of advice would you give ones who are going to build a pond for the first time and they want to put a palm tree right next to the pond? What <laughs> so, kind of advice would you give? So the advice would be uh, the, the intentions are good. You will often think about shade for the pond and and all this stuff that is good for it and a lot of times you see all this uh, natural cities that you see out in the mountains or or out in some areas where you can find uh, bodies of water but um, often uh, the root system will make their way into the pond um, because of the the way that it's built some of these liners retain some of the moisture trapped between the liner and the dirt so trees love that and they'll go that way so i would say safe thing to do is probably keep it about 20 20 or 30 feet away from the um, from the pond. Or if you are gonna do it, um, there are some measures that you can take. There's some uh, root blocking uh, systems that they that they, that they have. Uh, but you gotta think that a lot of this stuff it's only it's only a temporary fix. Uh, when it comes to trees and the root system, uh, you know some trees are very invasive, and uh, within a year they'll destroy whatever safety measures you've taken. So it's best to just keep them away from, from the pond. Don't make the same mistake I did, right? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say a mistake. It's just, you know, it, it happens. But you gotta think, uh, how, old is, how old was your pond when, you, when, you, when the pond was in here? Yeah, it was like maybe, maybe like not even a year. Yeah, yeah, so you kinda, it's kind of like a live and learn, but like I said, most of the times it's just uh, when it comes to big trees, kind of keep them away. Um, you can see some of the plant material that we have around the pond. Uh, it's all grassy plants. Yeah, they'll create roots, but they're not invasive like trees and stuff. Or palm trees, for that matter. That is true. All right, Juan, well, if you need my help, let me know. I'll get down there with you and do it. All right, sounds good, Paul. <laughs> well, you run across, so it's always easier to just dry set everything. It takes a little bit longer, but it's easier than having to go run down to the uh, Home Depot or whatever parts store and get something to make make it work again Juanito Picasso look at that right there You just saw it in real time folks How the master does it Don't cut corners Learn from Juan look what he just did So There we have it our connection some might be wondering how come I don't have it sweeping down and then over across. The more of these things you add to, 
uh, align also it creates restriction as well uh, so you want to use as less as possible so I could have used I could have done a straight down across and then over but that would add two more of these and then in return more restriction to the pipe and this one right here we just got boom 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 correct and then so most, most of our plumbing, once again, by the time we're done, our plumbing is not going to be visible, so we are going to have a decorative uh, fence over here. All right, Paul, so this is where it gets tricky. So now we have two lines that are coming from the pump. So this is gonna be our suction grid pump. And this is our, our discharge pump. Now it gets sent out to the biofall, way back over there, and then the jets on the backside. But then also I have three quarter inch lines, which is gonna be for my uh, air pump for each individual pump, I mean biofall that I have to uh, contend with on top of all the other plumbing that I have going on here. So yeah, there's a lot of cutting and measuring here going on right now. Like a puzzle, right? Jigsaw puzzle, right? Pretty much, yeah. So Juan, what are you doing right now? So now I'm hooking up the uh, so this is the ampli amplifier for the subwoofer and for the speakers. So everything gets controlled off of here. This is the power source. Uh, right now I'm gonna hook up the, the antenna. Now the antenna goes over here in the side. There's a little wire over here. And that is for the uh, Bluetooth. All right, we're gonna test this out. So we wanted to get finished. I know you guys can't wait to see what music we're gonna play. What's going on? Super so did you party this weekend or no? You know I did, man. I had the sounds <laughs> up and everything. You sure looked like you were partying. Hey, you know I was, man. You know I was. <laughs> hey, so what's going on today? Oh, uh, so today we'll be finishing up, uh, hooking up all the plumbing, the pumps, the our air filter. Well, not our air filter, but our air pump, which is this back here. And this one has two leads so it comes out of the pump and it hits it has two leads one for each biofall and there's a controller on it um, to regulate how much air we get going to our our biofall the reason being is inside of it is what is called a moving water bed so inside of it let me go up here real quick So inside of it, we have, don't know the number, but there's about five pounds worth of this stuff inside the biofall. And as you can tell, I'll let you hold one, made out of plastic. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Right, made out of plastic. So uh, what they're doing is constantly moving inside the, the biofall, just like constantly floating and, and revolving. And so that's what the air, the air pump is gonna be doing. It's moving that stuff around. So there's, you're never really gonna have much of a settlement up there. What this also is doing is purifying and cleaning, helping helping to purify and clean all the stuff that's in the bottom of the pond in conjunction with the, um, our uh, suction grit and our filter inside our, our, our skimmer. And what I noticed though, sometimes people put like the, um, 
air pump like inside the pond itself. Mm -hmm. But this way it does a little bit more, I guess, oxygenating for the water, putting it in the biofoam. Correct, so we have an added oxygen into the water as it's coming down and it's full of oxygen that's going into the pond. And then on top of that, our stream is, is cascading down and it's crashing on the rocks. That's also oxygenating the, the, the pond as well. Normally you, you can add uh, air pump in your pond um, uh, or have oxygen in the bottom of your pond when, you, when you're like seven feet deep or if you have a uh, aerated bottom drain. Um, but we don't have that here with your pond. One of the reasons we didn't go that route is because our space is very limited to have all the components to go with a bottom drain. Uh, so this was our best option, uh, which is technically the least expensive one when it comes to creating a dedicated koi pond. So this will be that route to go. Uh, you'll be saving a couple of thousand dollars by going this route versus the other route. Always saving money, I love that. <laughs> so Juan, we are about to officially do what? Start filling the pump, the, the pond. There we so go. I'm gonna turn the water on right now. The inaugural pond fill up. Here we go. Edwin. Pablito. Agua. Now, I'm always changing stuff, Juan. Now, you and I had a conversation about a couple of hours ago, and, and it had to do with lighting. And I'm always changing stuff. So what, well, what did I have you do? Okay, so what you had us do was, let me get it real quick. So this is a uh, professional outdoor lighting by Vista. Now this specific um, light, so originally we had up lights to the palm trees that was all the lights but they're just your standard uh yellow color uh light and it was gonna be doing about 35 watts equivalent with a seven led uh, light bulb uh but then you start asking if we can add some more lights and we can because the transformer once again like i, I talked to you last week it, it can support more lighting so we're gonna be adding four lights in the back but these are not your standard uh, lighting. This ones are color changing, but there's a color changing that you can control from your app. So you can go through the whole entire rainbow and whatever color you choose, that's what you want. So if you like pink, then you can go with pink, uh, but it doesn't stop there. So because it's Bluetooth enabled and Wi-Fi, you can control uh, the color changing uh, effects with your with your phone so once you get your sound system going and with the rhythm of the of the music whatever music it is that you're playing then the lights are constantly changing so every time the the, the bass or whatever it'll 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 change the light and now the lights are going to be where they all come to once they all cycle through they're all going to be the same color so it's not going to be uh, different colors all at once although you can once you play enough with the uh, with the app and you get used to it, then you can start changing things, but the lights will be changing with the with the beat of the sound. You know whose fault is this? Why I wanted these lights? Our good friend Inez. She put it in, in my wife Ray's head. Hey, you guys should put some light in between your in between the the we call it the landscaping out there. So, oh, okay. So Inez, uh, Juan is gonna send the bill to you and, and Alex, okay? So yeah, because that's that's where I was gonna get to now. Since since it was Ines' uh, idea, then we'll go ahead and send them the bill. There you go. Let's give a shout out to to my man Fernando who hooked us up. Yeah, and then definitely Fernando says he'll be stopping by probably on Monday at around 8:30 at night once all the landscaping is done and then the lights and everything is set up. Why at night? Because that's when we can see the light and how we can set everything up. So if there's any kinks or any issues that we run into when it comes to the lighting, he'll be able to help us out with that. So Juanito, what are you doing right here? So right now, I'm setting up for my autofill. Once again, this is the pressure regulator that we talked a while back. And so I'm just uh, putting some Teflon on the metal adapters and about to put it. Uh, once again, this is in line. And with this one, it's always got to make sure there is an arrow, so it's dummy proof. Uh, the arrow normally points to what the water flows, so it's coming from the house 
going to the auto film. Awesome, looking forward to seeing the finished product. just about our, our water level where it's gonna be um, I still got to fill and prime the pumps before I can run them uh, but we are not gonna be doing that until uh, tomorrow maybe because uh, I'm still doing some other stuff around the pond so but that's gonna be our water level right there so you gotta come back tomorrow I mean, tomorrow but what are you actually doing right now I'm actually gonna start running the pond right now so I'm actually priming the line right now and getting ready to to run it. So no, I, just, I, I didn't I didn't force you to do it. Today. No, no, you didn't. It's one of those things where, like, my OCD kind of kicks in because I want to see things working, and I want to start already adjusting it. Wow! Look at that. That's a waterfall for the first time. Wow. Doesn't it sound beautiful? Wow. Wow. Don't sound like that no more. No. And so right now you're going to see a lot of dingy, dirty water. But that's because it's running for the very first time. Although we try to clean and rinse everything, it's still not 100% uh, clean. Listen to that sound. If you like to. Beautiful. Sound, Ma. Fine. I, I was just telling this father, uh, Little Niagara Falls. I hope you're not taking it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's completely beautiful. You like Randy A? It looks really nice. Very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice to hear all that. Yeah, and then once you get the other one going, then it'll be double the fun. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Ball phone would leave it just like that. If it's just like that, it's perfect. Don't tell her that. She's easy. She'll say that. I have no idea. <laughs>
Let's see if it be Edwin. Edwin, what do you think? <laughs> nice. Beautiful job, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Wow, that's cool. Thank you, Edwin. And Juanito. We get it when it comes down for the first time. Juan, that OCD kicking in, man? Yeah. Juan, <laughs> well, so I, I gotta do it. I couldn't, I couldn't go home without it. Yeah, I'm the same way, Juan, when I'm editing and stuff, man. I'm like, if I get started, I can't stop. Yeah, Once I get started, I gotta see it all working, or else I'm not. I'm just not happy. We see the jets doing their thing over there. Yes, our water level right now is kind of low, so that's why some of the jets are barely moving around. Juanito is beautiful. 
Yeah, it's all cleared up now. Now, yesterday we talked about how a good friend of ours, Inez, uh -huh. and my wife conspired for us to get the lighting. Right. Yesterday, my mother conspired with you oh. to uh, do something else while you talk about that. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, then what, what we're conspiring on is... Uh, I accidentally dropped this nearby the pond. Something like this. And so your mom got to see what the, the green turf will look around the perimeter. So that's what I'm guessing, but that's what you're saying that would conspire uh, with Mama Lane on it. Yeah, you guys really talked about this before I got here. <laughs> Behind your back, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm looking at the pond today, one. The pond is like clear. I know your father Edwin yesterday talked about how it's gonna be clear the next morning. Uh -huh. And it is. You can see down to the bottom. Yep. Beautiful. Last night we had the we had the sounds going with the lights and that was pretty cool. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. So I was able to talk to Fernando this morning when I stopped by over there. And then he told me that with your app, and, and I'm pretty sure you'll figure it out, you can sync all your lights so they're all the same color. Now if you want them individual colors like you had it last night, then you can do that too as well. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to see more rats, the latest from the pond. We're almost done. We're gonna get some fish pretty soon. So we are so delighted to take you on this journey. If you missed any of the other videos that we had, please go back and check it out. Really appreciate your comments. Really appreciate your feedback. And thank you guys so, so much. And remember, stay healthy, stay safe, and I love you guys a lot. Take care until next video.